Madurai. On the banks of the Vaigai River is Tamil Nadu's second largest city and possibly the oldest. It was once the capital of the Pandyan Kingdom. At the height of their glory in the 13th century, the Pandyan Empire stretched to Sri Lanka. Historical sources refer to Pandyan seaports and trade with the Western world, the Middle East and Asia. They exported fine pearls and silk. Modern Madurai is known for its fine cotton saris, the Madurai Sunguri, and jasmine flowers. But above all else, Madurai is the land of Meenakshi, the one with fish-shaped eyes. Queen, patron deity, mother. It is the legend of their beloved goddess that the city celebrates in the first 12 days of the Chitirai festival, held in Chitirai, the first month of the Tamil calendar. The festival builds up to Tiru Kalyanam, the divine wedding of Meenakshi and Sundareshwara, as Shiva is known here. There can be only one venue for this grand event, the Meenakshi Amman Temple. This wonder of art and architecture is in the middle of the old city, with streets arranged around it in concentric squares. Spread over 14 acres, it is one of the largest in South India. The site is ancient, and the temple's early history is hazy. The many grand structures within its walls are of varying antiquity. Parts of the Sundareshwara and Minakshi shrines are said to be the oldest. They were built by the Pandyan king, Kulashekara, over 800 years ago. But in the 14th century, political turmoil took its toll on the temple. Much of it was destroyed by the armies of Alauddin Khilji, Sultan of Delhi. Over the centuries, there was reconstruction and expansion by kings and rich patrons. But much of the present-day glory is attributed to the kings of the Nayak dynasty from the 16th century. <laughs> 